All right, now we're going to look at another type of um, of word problems for area and perimeter. And in this case, they give us the um, length and the perimeter, and then you have to figure out what the area is. So these are a little bit trickier. Uh, and also, I just want to point out, remember, area equals length times width. Perimeter is just adding up all of the sides. Okay, so then uh, I also just want to point out if they give you either length or width, it doesn't matter which one they give you if you're finding the other one because since it's just length times width equals area, um, then technically the length could be 7 or it could say the width would be 7 and you're going to do the exact same thing. Uh, so just know that, that if they give you one dimension, either length or width, it's exactly the same. Um, so uh, we have a rectangle has a length of 7 and the perimeter is 22. What is the area? So we have to figure out, we know what the length is, we have to figure out what the width is so that we can figure out the area. So if there's a rectangle, okay, and how we do this is there are two sides that are 7, right? So that means 7 plus 7 is 14. Now the perimeter is all of the sides added up. So what we have to do is we have to figure out what these sides are. So what, uh, if we know that 7 plus 7 is 14, what we can do is do 22, which is the perimeter, minus 14, right? So 22 minus 14 equals 8, okay? So that means that this side plus this side has to equal 8. So now all we're doing with this is we're dividing it by 2 since there are two sides. Now if I put 8 and 8 here, this would have a bigger perimeter than 22. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. And now if we add all of these up, it should add up to 22. So uh, 7 plus 4 is 11 and 4 plus 7 over here is 11 11 plus 11 is 22 so now we know the length and width so it's 7 times 4 for the area which would be area equals uh, 28 and then it doesn't give you the units but square units right whatever the units are so remember area is always in squared units okay so let's go to this one a rectangle has a length of 9 the perimeter is 32 what is the area so we have to do the same thing right so we are going here we're gonna draw the rectangle 9 and 9 which is 18 then we're going to see how much these two add up to by subtracting uh, 32 minus 18 okay so I have to borrow from the 2. 12 minus 8 is 4. 2 minus 1 is 1. So now we have 14, and we have to divide it by 2 because there are two sides. So 14 divided by 2 is 7. So this should add up to 32. 14 plus 18 does equal 32. Um, and now... Uh, so what we're doing is to find the area, we have to multiply 9 and 7, which equals 63. Uh, and remember, it's square units. Usually they'll tell you like inches or something like this. Um, right. But it would be area equals square units, so 63. So let's see. There's a rectangle that has a length of 4. The perimeter is 16. What is the area? So let's see. We have 4. Okay. And the perimeter is 16. So I know that 4 times 4 
is 16th. So this is actually a square, right? And if we're doing the um, the area of it, it's also going to be 16 because length times width equals 16. So this is 16 square units. So hopefully this um, this is helpful, shows you another variation of area and perimeter work.